In this short little fourth video, we're going to talk about career options for history majors. We're going to pose the question, what can people do with the history major? I should note that a history education major should already know what they want to do because they're earning a pre-professional degree that's aimed just for teachers. If, however, you are an academic history major, then you've got uh, several options. History graduates regularly enter a variety of professions. Employers often assume that history graduates can read and write well, skills that most white collar jobs require, but sadly are lacking with many college graduates. Employers also assume that history graduates have basic research skills, uh, which again are uh, important to, to, to many, many, many professions. And they assume that they speak well and have a command of civic and political knowledge. Accordingly, history graduates usually find jobs in, re in these related fields. History is one of the most common majors for law students. History graduates have gone into advertising, into marketing, into banking, insurance, and retail sales. They've become editors and writers and publishers, working for everything from newspapers to newsletters to magazines. History graduates find work in museums, often as curators. They find employment within the field of public history, for example, managing historical sites or parks or working in historical associations. They find work as archivists, working within historical documents or, or working for libraries. History graduates can go into, into public relations or fundraising or foundation work or work with charities. Indeed, they may go directly into any aspect of general management, from hotel management to sports management. Many history graduates find work with or in government at all levels, from local to federal. This includes legislative staff, lobbyists, researchers, and press agents, not to mention the elected officials themselves. History graduates have gone into the Foreign Service, the intelligence agencies, and many law enforcement agencies. Many history graduates decide to continue into grad school and become community college or university faculty or administrators. It should be noted that graduate schools in more than just history accept history majors. In any event, the options of, for history graduates are too many to list. The central problem for many history graduates is ultimately deciding what career path to take. Some graduates, unfortunately, never decide what career to take with a degree, and then they end up constantly shifting from one profession to another, never really advancing in any. Whatever one's major, students should, in the end, develop long-run plans and ambitions. History is a terrific first step for many careers, but like college itself, it's only the first steps. Students should consult with their advisor about their professional ambitions. There are also a number of websites. If you simply Google, what can I do with a history degree, you'll find many, many options. So do a little research on the internet as, as well. One of the most important of the university's offices is the uh, Career Management Center. The center's function is to assist students in finding employment. As such, it holds career fairs and helps formulate resumes and list openings and assist with interviews. The center creates a portfolio of individual students for dissemination into potential employers, and it, it keeps a list of employers uh, coming who come to campus to interview. Students should fill out the center's application as they enter their senior year, if not before. The Career Management Center has a website. It should be all it should be added that you know that all students are encouraged to begin their job hunt early as their graduation years. Also, internships and scholarships for history-related fields are possible, both during the student's summers in college and after his or her graduation. Many students may want to consult with their advisors, and they may be aware of some. The internet and its search engines, including both sites of employment services and individual corporations and governments, are critical in any job search. All students seeking employment should have a one-page resume in a word-based format a cover letter also in Word, and arrange with professors and employers for letters of recommendation. Department of Social Science professors are usually very willing to write such letters as, as because you know, we get to know our students well. But uh, you need, if you are a history major, you may want to consider going to one of the larger employment centers, some of the larger cities where the options are, 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 are much more diverse and, and uh, numerous. In any event, this includes a short little video on what you can do with a degree in history.